What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So after months of planning and filming and working, my Landscape Essentials course is now live inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. This is something that I'm really excited about because it's been requested a lot, specifically by the landscape and garden designers in my course. And so a lot of thought has got into this, gone into this course as to how you can break down the landscape modeling process into an easy to follow step-by-step -step process. Now, if you've ever tried to work with terrains and landscapes in SketchUp, you know that can be a little bit of a nightmare. And so what I've done is I've simplified the process into a few easy steps that you can follow in order to create your landscape designs in 3D. And so this course is going to walk you through start to finish the landscape, garden, and terrain process, um, starting with existing geometry all the way through a final set of plans and a final render. So, and so the course is broken up into a number of different modules. So the first module is just an introduction to the overall process so that you're familiar with it. But then we're going to talk about things like importing data for existing sites and getting that into 3D in SketchUp. And and so we're going to talk about how we can start by laying everything out from a flat standpoint, and then we'll move it into 3D. And we're going to go through that step by step. And then after that, we're going to do deep dives into different parts and pieces of the process. So first off, we've got the terrain and grading essentials piece. This piece is going to teach you how to set up terrains and work with grading inside a SketchUp, including talking about some tools that you're absolutely going to want to have that are going to make your life way easier when it comes to modeling your terrains in SketchUp. After that, we're going to talk about how you can manage your plants. We're going to talk about how you can create a plant library. And we're also going to talk about not only how you can set up your plants with three-dimensional geometry, but also two-dimensional symbols that will move with your geometry so that you're automatically ready to go over into layout and create your plans without having to deal with any of the flashing or Z fighting that you commonly have to deal with. So after that, we're going to talk about materials. Good materials in your landscape plans can make all the difference in the way those final plans are going to look. So we're going to talk through everything you need to know to use custom materials inside of SketchUp in order to make your plans look even better. And then finally, you're also going to learn how you can create realistic renderings from your landscapes as well. So we're going to go through all of this in the course. The nice thing is this is contained inside of the SketchUp Essentials course, which means you also have access to me so you can get help. We've got our community forum. We have live calls, everything that you need so that you can learn these complex processes and not get stuck. So if you do want to check out stuff about this course in particular, you can check out the sketchupessentials.com slash landscape. Or if you want to learn about the whole course, because this is included in the SketchUp Essentials course, which means you get all of that other training as well. So if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly. My email address is justin at the sketchupessentials.com. I'd love to see you in the course. I'd love to help you with this complex piece of SketchUp modeling. So um, yeah, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.